good. Did, and that is not a presupposition. Evil? Unlike did, you, did Allah us, create evil? He, Allah created everything. Well, then He created evil as well, so He's evil. No, hold on, hold on. Oh no, 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 no Allah, he, Allah created well, Hitler. If you, if you let me finish, yeah, I'll tell you. Hitler. If, if, if you let me finish, I'll tell you why. If I bake cake, if I bake a cake, nonsense. Am I a cake? If you do what, sorry? If I if I bake a cake, does that make me a cake? No, it makes you a baker. Okay, exactly. exactly. So if God creates evil, that does not necessitate necessitate that He is evil. Are you a cake? I is he? He's, he's the baker, just like you said. Yeah, this is a bad right? analogy. This is another bad analogy. It's a very good analogy. You don't get it. That's a like, really amazing. No, 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 no. Very good analogy, actually. It's a very very good analogy. Okay, let me let me let me tell him the Islamic perspective. Usually, here's the reason we don't believe. What you what you're thinking? How are you, Uji? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, very well. Thanks. Where are you calling from today? Uh, the UK. Oh, that's nice. Um, what's on your mind? I was just wondering if uh, you had any thoughts on his book Tahir. In in what sense? Well, they've just been banned as a terrorist organization. Yeah. So. What, what, is it, what is it you want to discuss about them? Well, it was just that I heard Dili Hussain say recently that he shared some of the um, methods that his book to hear were proposing to use for Dawa teams. Which is? To infiltrate military and high-level politics. I have no idea what that is about, honestly. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, Why do you do Dawa? Why do we do Dawa? Because that's mm -hmm. what the Quran suggests. Why do you think we do Dawa? Excuse me? Yeah. There's, who is better in speech? Who is better in speech than he who calls to the worship of the one Lord and he does righteous good actions and says, I am from the submitters, the Muslims. Yeah. So in the so planet he... tells us that Dawa, <laughs> calling to Allah is the there's nobody better than this because it's a rhetorical question. Who's better than one who calls people to leaving idol worship, leaving worshiping people, prophets, only worshiping the one created creator? Yeah. So it's the best work that anyone can do. That's in Surah Fusilat, verse 33. Uh, so, Yuji, do you believe in God? Um, why? Well, we're asking questions. So this is a Q&A. Why do, do I believe in God? Um, yeah. It's simple yes or no. I don't think it's a question of belief. Yeah, but do you believe it or not? I don't need to believe it. I know it. I didn't, I didn't ask if you need to believe it. Do you believe in God or not? I don't need to believe it because I know. Oh, you know God exists? Mm-hmm. Okay, oh. so just say yes then. Why are you well, so it's, diff it's different as a question of belief when one has certainty. Okay, do you know God exists? Yes. What's his name? Don't know. Did he communicate with you? No. How do you know he exists then? Mystical experience. Which is? As I say, mystical experience. Well, you said it's certain. Mystical doesn't seem certain to me. Well, it's from personal experience, yeah, which is so mystical. It's just anecdotal then? No, anecdotal is something completely different. Mystical well, is something that would be ineffable. Okay, so well, it's subjective. You can have an anecdotal mystical experience. Exactly. Don't that word, man. It's Come still on, subjective, dude. man. Just talk to us, dude. Just talk to us, man. Please don't make this a, you know, a mental stretch. We're not here to get you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we don't. We don't. We don't have to pick apart words a little bit. Back. By the way, you you live in the UK. You are aware of uh, Speakers Corner? Yes. Okay, so it's a public space. Yes. And we have been giving dawah for decades over there. Yes. Uh, no one questioned us about why we do dawah. No one's ever questioned you about why you do dawah. No. So would you agree with Dili Hussain then when he suggested? So I'm asking that... you, what is on your mind? What do you think dawah means? Uh, I think dawah means introduction, doesn't it? Invitation. It's an invitation. invitation. Yeah. Do you see it's anything wrong with us inviting? To the God that we know exists. You have a belief. No, we know God exists. We have certainty. Yeah. How do you have that certainty? Because we know he communicates to us. 
personally? Well, through the messengers. That's no, no, this is belief then. Well, if you can believe in mystical, why can't we believe in a person and his testimony from someone who is righteous and a prophet of God? You can believe it. You're perfectly welcome to believe it, but you can't claim certainty. Well, we can. No. Yep. Certainty is, the requ is required. We have to have certainty or else we we're wouldn't not. be Muslims if there was no certainty. We, uh, this, it's interesting you mentioned this. To be a believer, to be a mu'min, requires yaqeen. Actually, so one of the shuroots in, in fiqh and in, in part of the shahada, being I'm, a Muslim. I'm very, very sorry to interrupt you. Could you sorry, please, Arabic, please speak to one English? Of one yes, of the conditions of, of, of being a Muslim, right, of when you give the testimony of faith, a condition of it is certainty. So none of you will believe. No person is a believer, a mu'min, someone who truly confesses belief, except that they have certainty. If you have 99% certainty, you're a disbeliever. You have to have 100% certainty to be a believer. You said you don't know even God's name. You know, if you're so certain, why do you not even know his name? Why would I know God's name? Well, do you do you know anyone that you're close to whose name you don't know? No. So you know all of the names, those people who are close to you. You're making parity between God and people, though. I'm not. It's an analogy. Well, it's a bad analogy. It's, an, it's a good analogy, actually. Because okay, if well, you're close to God, stop, and stop, if you know God for certainty... Don't make analogies. Don't make why analogies. Why not? It's, it's co because quite it's common. not logically... You can't, like, you can't do that. It's not, it's not, it's not the best way to, to do things. I mean, all logicians use analogy. What are you on? No, about? they don't. They do. No, they don't. People, people use analogy in literature, in, in philosophy, in even in religion, in all sorts of back from all sorts of backgrounds. They use analogy. I don't know what you have against analogies. God, uh, God, and, uh, which, which logical system would you like to use? Which logical system would you like to use? Oh, you're talking about a logical system now? Yeah, you're talking about logic. Okay. So which one would you like to use? For me, I want to know first why you think using analogies are wrong. It's a logical fallacy half the time. Based on which fallacy? The logical fallacies of no, making analogies. There are a lot of logical before. fallacies. Which logical fallacy dictates not to use analogies? Are you just making up things, man? No, I'm not making up things. Yeah, so give me a okay. logical fallacy which says you can't use analogies. It's not that you can't use analogies, it's that analogies aren't really the best thing to use. Okay, so now you've changed your answer. Earlier you said oh, the you false shouldn't. analogy. Yeah, but which, which, how, on what uh, particular logical fallacy that you would say this is a false analogy? It's called the false analogy fallacy. And what you were doing is to equate God with a people. I'm so not if you, if you, I said, I said an analogy. So, for example, look. You just, you just did the straw man fallacy. Uh, fallacy. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> straw man fallacy. <laughs> okay. You know, when you so, say so for which, certainty. Which logical you know, system would you like to use? Okay. I want to know why God, according to you, if God can communicate to someone, or is that not a possibility at all? No, I don't think that's possible. Then how did you have a How did you have a mystical experience then? Exactly. How did you get communication? No, I but I want to know first, before you tell us your experience, I want to know on what basis you're saying it's impossible for God to communicate with you. I suppose, yeah, no, I, I will retract that. I'm sure God could communicate to human beings if he chose to. Okay. okay. Has yeah. So in your case, um, he, he, he can communicate, but he has not communicated to you. Shall we say that? Correct. Okay. So I think... What yeah, are you de defining communication as? Because you had an your term, experience. not mine. You, but we're, you said no. So I'm saying, if you're saying no, but, but I tried it. Experience, then I would say that you didn't have an experience because that's communication. Well, I, I can't prove my experience to you. But, and I don't but aim then to. You can't prove it to yourself. I'm, I'm saying you said that you weren't communicated anything. But if you had an experience, an experience of a divine, mystical nature necessitates that you were communicated something do you know what communication means i think there's a misstep here and, and misunderstanding yeah i uh, think the obvious. misunderstanding probably is with the mystical experience itself 
in terms of what I describe as mystical experience, it would be ineffable. Do you understand the term ineffable? Yeah, but I'm saying I, I think we're getting caught mis like not understanding the word communication. Because when you said no, you were not communicated anything, then therefore you can't claim a mystical, any mystical, ineffable, any experience. You can't claim an experience because you yes, I can claim an experience. Okay, then th then you were communicated something. You can't say you were no. communicated. Yes, you then we'll go over the definition of communication. Do you know what communication means? Do you know what ineffable means? Yeah, I do yeah, know this, what this means. means. You're unable to express your uh, your your experience in yeah. words. So, so okay, yeah. so check this out. You express it as it does not necessitate okay. words. That's what I'm trying to say. Communication is the act of transmission. It can of be through information. Words. It can be through thoughts. It can be through different types of information, symbols, behavior, right? So communication it just means that something was transmitted. So the fact that you got an outside experience, you were transmitted some experience that left you with a certain feeling, something. So you were communicated something. So to say you weren't communicated either means you didn't have an experience or you don't understand the meaning of communication. We can use a different word. Okay. All right. Well, on your definition, then, yes, I was communicated I'm, an I'm experience. I'm doing the Britannica de definition. Not yeah. mine. No, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's okay. He can't describe it. That's, that's not an issue. Do you believe that there is a spiritual reality in addition to this material world that we live in? Do I believe there's a spiritual? Yeah, like uh, immaterial. Is there anything you believe is immaterial or do you only believe in the material world? No, there isn't a material world, yes. So would your God be material then? Both. Well, you just said you don't believe in immaterial, so it can't be both. No, I just said I did. Oh, you do believe in immaterial. I, yes. I thought you said you don't believe in it. Yeah, that's oh, what sorry. I thought. Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so once again, is there an immaterial world for you or not? Yes. Okay, in this immaterial world, what would exist? Mind. And? Mind. That it? Yeah. Okay, is your mind your God? No. Okay, so there is something other than mind which exists in the immaterial world? No, but I'd say that the nature of God is mind. What does that mean even? Well, I'm not suggesting that my mind is God. You're trying to say consciousness. Is that what you're trying to say? No, not in the sense of panpsychism, no. So what More do you mean like, by mind? Um, pantheism. Yeah, pantheism. Is that what you believe in when you, when you say the term God? Is that what you actually believe? Or is that what you know? Yes. I'd say that was what okay. I knew. It's not exactly ineffable, is it? Hmm? It's not exactly ineffable. The experience which you were trying is, yeah. to imply earlier. The experience of it is. No, but if you if you can understand something like pantheism, yeah, which actually means everything is God, isn't it? All yes. of existence is God. Yes. Is that what you actually think God is? Yes. So are we gods to you? Yes. Which what is the definition right? of God then? <laughs> What's your definition of God? I've given you mine. No, you haven't actually. Well, I said it's everything. Yeah, but everything can be evil and good. Is evil your God? Well, it's part of God, yeah. So your God can be evil? Yes. So what is for you? Would you actually punish evil or would you reward it? What, me personally? Yeah, if somebody, let's say somebody rapes a family member, would you would you want them to be punished or would you want them to be rewarded? Uh, you're talking about justice? Yeah, of course. Could you define the term? You understand what it means. I don't have to define it. Do you know, the, oh, you know what good and evil mean, it. right? Do you know what good and evil means? Um, yes, I think so. What does, e what does evil mean? Uh, wicked action, I suppose. Okay. Would you would you want to have that kind of character? Would I want e a, an evil character? Yeah. 
would I desire an evil character? Why would I desire an evil character? Because for you, everything is God. So yes. it doesn't really matter, does it? No, not really. Okay. Would you want to desire evil character then? It would be irrelevant. Why? Everything is God. It's very relevant. So if everything is God, I would want yeah, to desire an evil character. Yeah. Could you would you desire those character? two for me? Yeah. I'm you're... asking, I'm asking yeah. you because for you, everything is God, which includes mm -hmm. both good and evil, because you have yeah. acknowledged that is good and evil out there. Yes. Now, the question to you is evil. Say, for example, would you want to be like Hitler? Would I want to be like Hitler? Yeah. No. But he's your God. Yes, he's part of God. Yeah. Okay. So why, why don't want you to be like a part of God? It's not for me to say, really. I have my own desires. But you, for you, everything is God. It doesn't matter yeah. your desires. Irrelevant. Your desires yeah, are relevant, irrelevant yeah. because everything is God, including Hitler. For your information. Yeah. yeah, and his victims. So why would you not want to be like your God? Why would I not want to be like Hitler? Like your God. Are you saying Hitler is my God? Yeah. For you, everything that's is not, God. That's right? not what I said, though, is it? You said everything is God. That includes Hitler. But that's not to say that Hitler is God. Okay. Does, is, said... is Hitler part of everything or not? Yes. Okay, so he is God. God by your understanding. <clears throat> he's, a, he's a part of it, yes. Okay, so that's... Who so are you? You are a part of God. Hitler yes. is a part of God. You can be good. He can be evil. For you, it's all the same, my friend. Are you good or evil? We differentiate between good and evil, and I would want evil not to be rewarded, but to actually go through the justice system and be punished if found to be guilty. But are you wholly good or wholly evil? No, I've got a free will to do either. Exactly. So did Hitler. And he did evil. He did. And he's so your God. He be punished. <laughs> he's your God, actually. You don't realize that. For for a pantheist, everything is God, including evil. Yes. So, What's okay, the so how, you determine... how, can, how can God be evil? That's the question. You're, you're making presuppositions about God. No, I'm not. What people do all I'm, the time. I'm based on your definition of pantheism. No. Nope. For you, nope. God can be evil. Am I right? Yes. There you go. So your God is evil. Part of God is evil, yes. Okay. Any brothers want to take it from here? It's up to you. Guys. Yeah, I'm I'm genuinely curious. What what's your end goal in life? Like what's your end goal in all this? You know, he started with his book Tahrir. He ended up saying he's evil and his God is evil. Allah. I didn't say that my God was evil. I said that God contains evil. Okay. You've made, so... pre you, you've made the presupposition about God that God is all good or God is all powerful or all knowing. These are just presuppositions. They're just your How ideas. You, wait, wait, wait. They are your you are ideas. Even, you don't even know God's only. name. You don't you even know God's name. name. You consider him to be a part evil. Come on. Think about it, my friend. Let, let's start. So you think about it. Quick. Why why what should God be all good? Why? Okay. You know, for us, for us it's very clear. Allah no, 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 cannot be Allah, Allah is not evil. He punishes evil and he rewards the good. Did, and that is not God a presupposition. Unlike you did Allah us, create evil. He, Allah created everything. Well, then he created evil as well, so he's evil. No, hold on, hold on. Oh, no, 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 no. Allah he, created well, Hitler. If you, if you let me finish, yeah, I'll tell you. If, if, you, you if, let me finish, if I bake a cake, if I bake a cake, am I a cake? If you do what, sorry? If I, if I bake a cake, does that make me a cake? No, it makes you a baker. Okay, exactly. exactly. So if God creates evil, that does not necessitate, necessitate that he is evil. Are you a cake? Is he, he, he's the baker, just like you said. Yeah, this, is bad analogy. this is another bad analogy. It's a very good analogy. You don't get it. That's a like, really amazing no, no, no. analogy. Very good analogy, actually. analogy, actually. It's a very, very good analogy. Okay, let, not, me, let, me, let me tell him the Islamic perspective. Yuji, here's the reason we don't believe what, you, what you're thinking. So, for example... Well, we call you Oliver, right? Is that okay? We, we, call we you believe Oliver. in Satan. Do you know that? We believe in Satan, and we believe Satan is evil. However, when... Allah creates something, it is not intrinsically evil. For example, that Hitler, when he was a baby, he was an evil. When he grew up, he chose evil based on the free will which was given to him as a human being, like every human being has free will. So he chose to do evil, just like you did not choose to do evil maybe, you know, with your free will. 
So we cannot br blame Allah for whatever they choose to do with the free will that was given to them. Does that make sense? Not when you're claiming an omnipotent God, no. Well, your God is evil. What can I do, man? I can't make you change your mind. Okay. Hang on one second. Where, where, where have you got my God is evil from? Uh, Are you uh, evil? Because good, you and evil? Evil, good and evil well, is included in pantheism. Yes. Yeah. And everything which is included in pantheism is God for you. Both yeah. good and evil is God for you. So why are you choosing to say evil rather than good and evil? Hold okay, so good second. and evil. Yeah. Evil is still part of your God. Do you not realize that? Yeah, evil is part of the world. It's part of your world right. too, part right. of Allah's world. It's, yeah, but yeah, do you, right. when That's I asked you, would you choose evil? We, you said we no. I disagree with that. The issue is not whether <laughs> evil on. is good. Talk for like, this is free will. We're talking about a free will. No, no, no. You, 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 you can't claim free will when you have an omnipotent God. You point yeah, to an omnipotent God and say, I can do what I want. But God's chosen already. No, 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 no. Hold on. No, 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 no. That is true. No, that is true. Not. This is nonsense no, apologetics when you say this about your free will. It's, it's nonsense. It's you do I not have free will with an omnipotent God. That's not how it works. Okay. Right. Hold on, UG. Let's just start fresh here real quick. Okay. I have a question for you in regards to accountability. How does somebody get held accountable with your system? They're not. Okay, so people can do whatever they want. Yes. Okay, how is that better? I'm not saying it's better. Saying okay, it why is. wouldn't you go? Why wouldn't you strive for better? What are you talking about? Striving. Why, stri why would you not strive for something better? Do you? No, no. I look at the world as it is. Hold you on, look brother. at it through a no, weird view. No, you say, "Oh don't. no, no! I want it to be this way." No, no, no. View no, no, it no, no, as no. it is. Hold on. You're viewing it from your lens and how it is to you. Let's get things something, let's just get that straight. You're not viewing the world as how it is because you don't have the capacity to view it as how it is. Neither you do you. Limited. Neither and do you. Claiming, right, no, you are claiming because you point to objective no, morality no. and you okay. can't do that from your subjective position. I, it's not a subjective position. You My always position. hold the subjective no, position. There's no, no way to hold not. the objective position. No, it's not. The only thing that is subjective is your choice to follow the objectivity or not. No, objectivity and, is a subjective point of view. No, what did you just say? How can oh. you take the objective point of view from your subjective position? How can because you know what is objective not, or not? Here, very simply, because it's not No, you can't. Position. It's impossible. Are you going to let me speak? Are we going to have a dialogue? It seems like I struck a nerve with the accountability thing. Okay, so, <laughs> so hang tight. The, the reason why I know that it's not subjective is because it's not my criteria. It's as simple as that. No, you've accepted it as your criteria. No, uh, no, 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 no. I've accepted yeah. it as God's criteria. And In I'm your opinion. Man, it, 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 look, either either you're going to come down to a, a very understanding or reasonable level, or we're not going to make progress on, 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 getting, on elevating our friendship. You're a friend of mine. Why are you upset? Okay, so okay. Can, I, can I just ask another question? So do you believe that this universe... Uh, was created or did it always exist? Why does it matter? It matters because I want to know if your God is eternal or it's actually being created at some point. What does it matter? Well, is your God eternal or not? Well, that's just a question that you have. Okay, yeah. Can you you to have a conversation? Do you have an answer? <laughs> Why did you come up here? Did you come is to a chat platform to not chat? Well, not really. No, I came to ask you about his book, to hear. Okay. You, so you, to about about you, you turned out to be worse than them. Trust me. If that, if you think they're bad, like you wanted to chat about a book, and you just said you didn't come up here to chat. Look, man, <laughs> come on, level with me a little bit, please. Give me something, dude. If we met up at a coffee shop and had tea or coffee together, dude, we wouldn't be talking like this, right? Yeah. You know, for me, God is a necessary being. Is it a necessary Why? being for you? Because without no. God, we wouldn't exist. <sighs> Why would you think God was a necessary being? Because without God, none of this reality would exist. Why are you making that assumption? Well, I'm making that assumption because that is the only plausible way for this existence to come about. No. Can this exist in, okay, is the universe, did it create itself or it came from nothing or it came from God? Could you explain to me nothing? absence of everything can you show yeah. it to me 
It's the absence. Uh, it doesn't of exist, actually. It doesn't exist. So what are you talking no, about? Does, nothing doesn't exist. So what are you talking about? What is We're the question? We're talking about the thing that doesn't, doesn't exist. exist. So it's nonsense. What are you talking about? No, it's not actually. You could have just said it doesn't exist, and that's the answer. Well, I need to get you to see and your audience to see that some of the things that you presuppose are ridiculous. Why are you evading my simple question? This no, existence you... which you which you believe in, which by the way, do you believe you exist? Yes. Do you believe the universe exists? Yes. Do you believe the universe began to exist at some point? I don't know. Could it have been eternal? Very possibly. Not according what to research science, have you done to come to your conclusion? According to whose science, sorry? Not according to those cosmologists that we know, because they have actually what stated cosmologists that the, say that the universe couldn't be eternal? Because they have actually given us an age, 13.8 billion years. You, again, when, you make your presupposition that the universe didn't exist before that. Yeah. Where is the evidence for that? Where's the evidence that it wasn't? No, 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 wait. The evidence is for not what is not there, for what is there. You told me that there could be nothing which doesn't no, no, answer exist. the question. You, you said, where is the possibility it was there before? Have you got evidence for it that before this universe, there was another universe? Have you got evidence for a God? Yes. Oh, don't change do. the topic now. We do. We have evidence. Now, do you have evidence? No, no actually, I, I was getting it. to the evidence of God, but first I'm the one making the he existence. believes in the actual existence that it came from something or nothing or it created itself. Which one is it? No, it's, it, that, that's a false dilemma. It's not a dilemma. It's a question. You, you just pretend to me with a false dilemma. No, I give you a question. Which I'm not going to answer. Question, it's a false a dilemma. question is not a dilemma. The answer can be a dilemma. Okay, could you ask me again? So you didn't even listen. You made an allegation. It's a dilemma. Wow. I'm sorry. Could you ask me the question again? I will ask you, but this time listen and don't make a judgment before you even heard or understood the question. The question okay. is this. We know that the universe exists, right? Yes. Okay. And the question is this. Where did the universe come from? Or was it always there? And if it is always there, what is the evidence for that? Um, I suppose we wouldn't have any evidence for an eternal universe, would we? No, we don't. No, in the same way, we don't have any evidence for God. No. I thought you said God is, God is everything. And no, you were certain about your it. Evidence. Now you're saying there's no evidence for God. What is this? Okay, the evidence is the Quran. Just give it to him, Hashem. The evidence no, no, wait, wait. Uh, but he said, he said he was certain about God. Now he's saying there's no evidence for it. I'm saying you, you have actually... haven't got any. No, 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 hold on, hold on. You actually you went do. back. You, you made a complete U-turn from the certainty. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay, once again, do you have evidence? No. For, for, wait, wait. Do you have evidence for God? No. No, you don't. But no. you're certain. Yes, because I have experience. On... Yeah, but that's anecdotal. That's subjective. Yes, I know. I can't prove it to you. Okay, so that's not counted as evidence. Do you know that? Subjective yes. anecdotal experiences are not counted as evidence. I'm not so presenting as have... evidence. Okay, so you have no evidence, but you have certainty. Nope. Yes. Can there be any certainty without evidence? For personal experience, yes. That's subjective then? Yeah, of course. Okay, so your, your understanding is subjective and your base... You could be wrong, right? Yeah, so your, your understanding of everything is subjective. Okay. You know why I believe and I know that there is a God? Because of what the was question, the first word you said? Why, why I believe? Well, I'm not going to get bogged down into the term belief. And yeah, because know. you're believing something. That's just belief. Well, I said yeah. I know. So no, 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 you said uh, I why believe. Are you the, why are you stuck with only the first part of the sentence, not the complete sentence? Okay, finish. Okay. We know that the universe exists. We know it couldn't come from nothing because nothing doesn't exist. Do you agree with that? Yes. Okay. We know the universe couldn't have created itself because there was no universe before. You're making a presupposition that the universe was I'm not, created. I'm, I'm, basing, I'm basing it on the cosmologists who actually have evidence of redshift about the age of the universe. And they have come to the conclusion is something like 13.8 billion years. So you're going to point to the Quran and then say... By the way, this is not from the Quran. Say, this is not from the Quran. I didn't use the term Quran. How often have you, have you had to go atheists for saying that they believe in science? Well, actually, we have nothing, no problem with science. No problem with science, man. <laughs> Unless and until it no went problem. against the existence of God. See, then that's here's the thing, thing Uji. Here's the thing, man. Can I call, what, what's your name? Do you mind giving me a nickname or something, or is it just Uji? Uh, you can call me Oliver if you like. Oliver. Okay, thanks, bro. 
okay, Oliver, here's the thing, man. We don't want to straw man you. We don't want to just argue for the sake of arguing. We want to get to know why you believe what you believe. We want to explore your reasons for your belief. And we want to show you the better way, which is Islam. That's literally what we're trying to do. Okay. As clean cut as possible. Now, Could in order I, for I us ask to you a question, do... Maurice. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. If somebody offers you a gift and you refuse it, who does the gift belong to? If somebody offers you a gift and you refuse it, mm -hmm. it's still your gift. But who does the gift belong to? What does to it? You. So if someone gives you something and you say, no, I don't want it. Yes, because the concept of giving something is you're giving it away. Yeah. <clears throat> giving ownership. You're giving ownership away. Now, whether you choose to accept it or not is up to you. So who does the ownership belong to if someone refuses your gift? It's to you. To, you to the giver. Huh? No, no, no. It does not, does not default back to the giver. No. It's, it's back to you. To you. It is you. You will have that gift. Now, what you choose to do with it, meaning you chose not to accept it, that's up to you. You can throw it in the trash. You can do whatever you want with it. Now, I'm not interested in getting into a philosophical question of gifts or not. Now, if you're trying to link that to Islam, is that what you is that what you're trying to do? So you're trying to say you're not interested in learning any other way. I'm not interested in Islam. No, not okay. In are you interested? In, are you interested in in, in truth? Man, this is taking you a long time, dude. This is really worrying me right now. Okay. <laughs> well, you I'm, might I'm ask to... the question of good and evil again. Well, do, no, no, do you I'm know... not going to ask him about good and evil. I'm just genuinely... If, okay, look, uh, do you mind me asking Oliver what you studied or uh, whatever, what field of work you're in? Any, anything. You can lie to me if you want. Okay. I've got five university degrees. One of them's in philosophy. Um, okay, I work, great. I work generally as an architect. Okay, cool. Architecture, right? Now... If you were to compose a, uh, a blueprint with an architecture, would you want the blueprint to be truthful or not? Truthful to what? Hey, man, what buildings are you building? Because I'm never going inside those things. <laughs> no, seriously, truthful to the truthful to the actual practice of architecture of, say, safety of, you know, all the all the principalities that are involved in, in housing a building. Right. Yes. Yes, you I want, want it to be, to be accurate. You want, yes, you want it to be accurate. You want it to be sound. You want it to be without error. You want it to be all mm -hmm. these things. Yes. Okay. So then you are interested in truth. Well, there's a difference between truth in drawing and concept, and truth in reality. I what understand. I draw is never made as I draw it. That's I just not possible. Made. Okay. So are you are you interested in the truth of the ultimate reality? Yes. Great. Okay. How did you determine that you are upon truth in ultimate reality? Experience, direct experience. Okay, great. So how could that, how could that direct experience be applicable to all of mankind? Because you're upon truth. Okay. And you want good for everybody because mm -hmm. you're a benevolent guy and you you're, you're charitable. And now you want this ultimate reality truth to be applicable to other people. How can now you prove to me that that truth is applicable to me and Hashem and everybody else. I can't. Okay. So what you're telling me is that you yourself mm -hmm. have chosen a path based on your experience, which nobody else can benefit from. Yes. Right. Do you not find that selfish in any way? No. Okay. You don't find that selfish in any way. I can't give you what I've had. No, I, I'm not. I'm not talking about sharing the experience in the same manner to me having the exact same experience. I'm saying the the ultimate reality. So, like, let me give you a let me postulate something here, <clears throat> or let me pose a question to you. If you believe you're upon truth, then by default you believe that everybody that is not you is upon falsehood. Correct. Sorry, I'm just look reading one of your comments here that says I've got a Jew scarf. I don't care. I'm not reading the comments, dude. I'm talking to you. I don't care what, what, what they're saying. Sorry, it, it distracted me. That's all. Could you just repeat me? Yeah, repeat. no problem. Okay, so if if you believe that you're upon truth, then by default, you believe that everybody is upon falsehood, right? No. So then there's other people that are upon truth. I'm sure there are. If their truth is different than your truth, whose truth is correct? 
I wouldn't be able to judge. Okay. So what do you not see a problem in that? For you, yeah. No, not for me, for you. I don't have a problem. You do. You have a purely subjective viewpoint on what the truth is, and you have no way to differentiate between what's right and what's wrong. Same is for you. No. No, yes. but if you look, man, if you say certain something and then you don't even know if that's the truth. Yeah. And that's problematic. Why would well, you not, my subjective why would you not position, want to invite it is true. Okay, but why would you not want to invite me to your truth? If you how, think that how I'm, could I? Okay, that's your, that's your job to figure that out because why? you're the one claiming Why should I save you? Huh? Why should I save you? Why should I help you? Are you a good guy or are you a bad guy? No, tell me why I should. I got no I'm, interest I'm in doing you that. If you're a good guy or a bad guy. I've got no interest in saving you. Okay, great. So then you have no interest in saving anybody but yourself. No. That's, okay. Okay. You know, you know, this is the reasons, you know, some philosophers said that pantheism is just atheism with another and name. What do you care about? Good and evil for, for no atheism. In good. If you have no interest in good, what do you care about good and evil? I don't. Okay. So please explain to me, what is the purpose of your existence then? The purpose of existence? No, your existence, not My the existence. existence. Yeah, yours. I think it's necessary. What's well, so necessary about it? Why is your existence necessary? Could the world be, could the, could the world exist before you existed? Could it have existed? Oh, hey, I got a great one for him, Hashim. Don't even give him that. Okay, <laughs> are you are you going to pass away at one point? Yes. Will the world continue to exist? Uh, yeah, I'm sure it will. Okay, and so before you existed, then? the same. Sorry. How are before you? Before you existed, the world all, all, always existed before, so you're not necessary. Your existence well, if, if is this not is necessary. eternal, if we're stuck in eternity, then yeah, it is necessary. Yeah, but you don't know if you're eternal. You don't know. Evidence. Well, we're making assumptions, aren't we? No, we're not. We're trying to... Yeah, you're the one making assumptions assumption by saying it's necessary. I'm speculating. Okay, great. So you're following nothing but conjecture, pure speculation, yeah. and you think you're upon certainty. Does mm -hmm. that sound like a soup sandwich to you? No. Not at all, right? No. Full of contradictions. If you study no, philosophy, like, one, of the, like one of the first things to teach you is law of non-contradiction. <laughs> that was a brand you, you have been walking, again, again you, we'll, you we'll go back to this. Like the law a, of non-contradiction. Like no, 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 no. Let, let's go back to that because we're going to talk okay. about logic and logical okay. systems. Why do you suppose or presuppose that there is uh, no excluded middle? About what? Do you understand what I'm talking about? Yeah, because well, when I asked you about logic... Do you understand what the excluded middle is in logic? When I asked you about existence... Are you, you going to answer my to... question? Yeah, but you didn't answer my question about the existence. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do that trick. Tell me. What trick? You don't you understand what the, question the excluded about middle existence. is. Prove to me you, that you understand what the excluded middle is. I asked you if the universe existed. And you don't you didn't know, do you? That question. You don't know. You evaded it. You, evaded you don't it. know, do you? I you mean, evaded the question. We don't have to be confident. You don't know and you don't understand what I'm talking oh, about. Oh, sorry. I don't understand what. What is the excluded middle? I don't know what that is, actually. I have no, All right. I have no so issue. So why did you say that I, I, I didn't answer your question? I was evading. No, hold, hold on. Hold on. I have no, no you're issue in saying you're something that faith. I don't know. You're the one with the ego, not me. It's, because it's, when I asked you <laughs> about existence, sure. about no. the universe, you didn't answer that question. You went round in circles. No, we were talking about logic. And yeah. I said, the excluded there's middle. No gray area. Do you understand short, what the excluded middle is? And you didn't. There's no gray area. There's no gray area. I didn't say I did. <laughs> no, give it to him. There's no gray area. In, in short, there's no gray area. Either something is true or the opposite of it is true. Well done, Maurice. You Googled it. Okay. So, so what, what more do you want? You, 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 so you have. Just because given... you, wait, wait. Just because, <laughs> what's, what's, what's the meaning of Tawheed? Tawheed. Yeah, Arabic word, Tawheed. Is it go on Google it if you don't? Is know. it like tasfir? No, it's not tasfir. No. No. <laughs> There's no. Such you see what I mean? There are the words, word there are things we don't like, know, and there are things we don't. Like know. Like well, you want to have a debate? Make you, any better you want to have a debate, and you want to talk about philosophy? Yes, we're all ground. going to have to understand logical systems. No, but Sorry. if you knew logic, you wouldn't no. be making you. You know, I, I don't know. Go home and watch this. How many logical contradictions you made? That's yeah. these fallacies that you have made. Yeah, you know, 
It's full like, of it. And you study, if you had five degrees, you should get your refund from me. <laughs> look, man. We, okay, we, anyway, look, we, I, th I think we spent a lot of time on you. So maybe come back next time. Uh, maybe think about your pantheism because to me, to me, it seems like pantheism is just euphemism for atheism. Not at all. It is. Well, because you just, mind. you think you believe in God, but you, you have said nothing about God. About the characteristics. You can't say God. anything about God. You can't hold you're, any you're beliefs certain, about God. You're certain, but you don't even know the name or the you characteristics. You can't hold any beliefs about God. Say so you believe in something. You can't hold any beliefs about God. You can't believe in. Yeah, but you you are certain. Yeah, no. So you you yeah, I've believe certain, yeah. I've, 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 I've had the misery. You're certain experience. when you don't have any beliefs in God. Well, you can't hold any beliefs about God. It's silly. Okay. Do you know even well, the how, characteristics of this God? You say? Or is it just a created one at a time, please, gents? Okay. Is you know when you say pantheism. Yeah. So in pantheism, which includes everything, for yeah. example, yourself. Yeah. So nothing in pantheism is necessary. Well, given the existence of things, you would assume that it might be necessary. Which part in the pantheism is necessary? Well, the existence of everything would assume that it would be necessary. No, but well, you didn't exist at one point. Yeah. And the world did exist without you. Yeah. So you're not necessary. Neither is any atom or molecule in this universe. Unless, unless at some point they all came into being when they were not there in being before. Unless we are stuck in eternity, in which case everything is necessary. No, but that's not the case. How do you know? Because atoms and molecules didn't exist at one point. How do you know? Because based we had a personal <laughs> mystical experience. Bro, based based on the cosmologists, and based, I can't on the big explain bang, it based, based on the Big Bang Theory, Matter came into being something like 400 million years after the Big Bang. And this is the most accepted model of the origin of the universe. So are you suggesting that matter came into existence after the Big Bang, 400 million years after? Exactly. You sure about that? Uh, yeah, I've heard it directly from scientists. I think you may have misunderstood that. Okay. What do you know about the Big Bang? A little. Okay, that's why I'm saying go and study it, and then you can say it's right or wrong. Okay, is that fair? Because matter is not eternal, if that's what you're trying to imply. It's not definitely eternal. You are you are matter. You didn't exist at one point. So you're not necessary. Neither is anything that is matter in this universe is necessary. Um, I'm saying that if the universe is eternal, all things are necessary. The universe is not eternal. It began to exist at some point. Well, that's an assumption you're making. It's not an assumption. It's based on actual empirical evidence from scientists, and they have observed the radiations and the, and, and the redshift. Do you know what's redshift? Yes, I know what redshift is. Okay, so this is empirical evidence. Well, that's empirical yeah. evidence of an expanding universe, yeah. Yeah, so, so it had to add a starting point. So inference, you, you can yep. use inference that at but now we've that already gone over this before the Big point, Bang, there could have been another and, universe. But it's no, not but there's no evidence for that. Yeah, but, so what we can only we can only see things within our universe, we can't see outside it. So any, anything outside is speculation. Yeah, but and no science scientist doesn't work say that no science scientist doesn't work would on say, just speculation. It based, no scientist. It's based on it's based on data, it's based on evidence, not speculations. Mm -hmm. So from that evidence, could you infer that there was not a universe beforehand? Yes, that's what they're saying. No, you can't. Oliver, I'm just going to leave you with this, man. Go to chapter 6, verse 111 of the Quran, and do me a favor and just read that aloud, please. I'll get my copy of the Quran. Oh, may God guide you, man. I mean. That, that warmed my heart, please. Everyone say I'm into that. I mean. Because, you know, look, Hidayah is open to anyone who is sincere. If you're sincere, Oliver, you'll find Hidayah, you'll find guidance, inshallah. What are we on? Six? Six, one, one, one. And even if we had sent down to them the angels with the message, and the dead spoke to them of it, and we gathered together every created thing in front of them, they would not believe unless God should will but most of them that are ignorant. Mm -hmm. You know what that is? Could you explain it? Yeah, absolutely. That's describing you. 
you you have no certainty you're following nothing but conjecture you're mm -hmm. you don't have any type of evidences you haven't done any type of deep studies and you've drawn a conclusion and you think you're upon certainty from a personal subjective mystical experience which you cannot explain and then on top of that certainty you don't want to share it with anybody because quote unquote you don't have to i didn't say i didn't have to oh i'm sorry you didn't want to right correct right so please please take that copy of the quran read it with a sincere heart and an open mind and you'll get your answer that quran will tell you exactly what your psychology is it will you sure i'm positive because i can tell after you read this just this one little verse your entire demeanor just changed <clears throat> i love you man and i want the best for you and i want to share the truth with you but it requires a, a for you to be sincere that's the only criteria if Absolutely. you sincerely believe that you are upon truth there's no open mind to it but you sincerely believe that you are upon truth but your okay. claims are absurd no my claim is not absurd i haven't made a single claim to you yet this is absurd why is it absurd it says the earth is flat where what where <laughs> He said it's rolled out like a carpet. Okay, please, ex please go. Well, lying, man. <laughs> Around okay, you know, carpet. By the way, you're not the only one to actually misunderstand this. Oh, I know, no, 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 no. I've heard the apologetics. Mean? They don't. Well, make what sense. have you heard? What have you heard? I've heard a lot of the apologetics. What have you None heard as an explanation for what for that ayah for that passage which you just <sighs> alluded to? Well, there's so much about the the cosmology. Give me one. Give me give me one wrong. thing you heard one. about it. Does the sun set in a muddy pool? No, no, hold on, hold on. Don't okay. change it. Does the sunset in a muddy pool? No. Wait, let's, let's stick to the flat earth thing. What have you heard as an apologetic for that? Well, I've heard Hamza say that he doesn't know and that, that scientifically it hasn't been proven. What? Hamza Mayat, you know the guy. Hamza Mayat said what? The earth is could be flat. Why yes. is not Mayat? Uh, I, I don't know. I've, heard, I've never heard that from him. But oh, I'll give you my response. Part. I'll give you my response to it. The term Ard in Arabic can apply to the surface and can apply to the globe as well. Guess which? So a round carpet. Have you seen many round carpets? Okay, so if you were to lay a carpet on the surface of the earth, would it be curved, round, or or flat? Well, you tell me what's the shape of the earth. No, no, you you answer the Did you hear the question, by the way? I did, yes. If I laid it around the, the earth, what would it be? Okay, yeah. if you laid you a carpet... You tell me what's the shape of the earth, what am I laying it around? On. Hold on, hold on. If you laid a carpet... In your room, Our carpets round. In if you laid a carpet in your room, what shape would it be? Flat. If you laid a carpet on your turf, what shape would it be? Flat. If you laid a carpet on a continent, what shape would it be? It would be curved. No, it wouldn't. It would be flat. That's what I meant by you don't know logic. <laughs> well, continents are Anna. curved. It won't be curved. Because it will be straight, it'll be flat. Stairs, no. you know, you have stairs. What shape is the carpet on your stairs? I'm, I'm sorry, Maurice, could you jump in on this? Do you actually think that continents are flat? Look, here's what I think, no. man. He didn't get it still, did he? Here, no, I don't surface, think you understand what a continent is. The surface of the earth, no, I, I understand doesn't matter where you go. Is. What, he's trying to sh what he's trying to show you is one of the beautiful linguistics of the Arabic language in which you have to take time. Okay, then, right. Stop, 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 stop. Okay. Ignore, ignore all of these. Yeah, yeah. Let's go to the maths, shall we? Let's go to the inheritance problem. Explain that. Oh, no, no, hold on, hold on. It's going to be on. Explain the thing. inheritance problem. That's going to be one Explain that. Thing. That's Arabic numerals. So that's okay. the same numerals that we use. So don't use the Arabic language as an excuse. I'm not use using maths excuse. to explain the inheritance problem. I am not it's using it as an excuse. Actually, if you, you know, there's a, there's a really good video about this. You know, Mohammed Hijab? Yeah, it's nonsense. Mohammed Hijab. He explained it who, quite well. I know Mohammed Hijab, yeah, the pedophile yeah. apologist. Sorry, say again? The pedophile apologist, yes. What Look, pedophile? Man, we got to be respectful uh, over here. If you're going to just start but, making... By the way, that, you know, that includes his God, by the way, because according to his God, all, everyone is a God, right? Yeah, the, the, yeah. you shouldn't have a problem with pedophiles. Your God you all you have a problem with your logic. good and evil now. You yeah. can't go there. Yeah. Based on your logic, they're all your God. Don't forget. Look, we, we were not insulting to you in any way, shape, or form, dude. We were we have we have critiqued the things that you have said, but we never said anything about your character. You right? sent you sent me to a, a passage in the Quran that called me ignorant. Uh, yes, because you have to take our, 
what is the definition of being ignorant? Either you're aware What's or you're the definition you're... of insult to you. Ignorant well, doesn't. Hey, look, uh, uh, Boris, why, why would it matter thing, right? to him? Because I mean, for him, tomorrow you knew it. The I, day I, before I, you were ignorant, but today you're you're knowing. Ignorant just means you didn't know something. You didn't know something. It but... is something. Someone who is presented the information. So the inheritance problem, gents. Hold on, hold on, Oliver. You no said you are you for real about the architecture stuff? Just curious, because I'm, I'm going to reference it a bit. You're for real, right? I'll just give me a thumbs up or whatever. Okay, I'm ignorant in architecture. Okay. And that's not insulting to me. Okay. Okay, cool. So that's he's, it. Now, he's uh, when I asked him about Tawhid, he was ignorant about that. Yeah, you're Did ignorant. There's certain there's many things that I'm ignorant on. Many, many, many things, and I'm not afraid to say it. Okay? So like, for example, take take your Quran and open it up to cha chapter 18 and go to verse 86. Discord. Until one may reach the setting of the sun, i.e. the west, he found it in parentheses as if setting in a spring of dark mud and okay, found right. it near a people. Do people live near metaphors? No. Hey, man. Let him explain at least. Just take a moment. Breathe for just a second, bro. This it's is this is nonsense. You. This is absolute nonsense. It's okay. absurd. Explain the inheritance problem using mathematics. Does the God, the omnipotent God of the world, not understand simple fractions. Yeah. I'll, I'll tell you what. First, go find the logic that the carpet has to be flat or curved when you lay it on a continent. Go learn some basic logic. Even okay. with five degrees, you said it's curved. There's no carpet that is curved. doesn't matter where you lay it. Okay? Goodbye, by the way. 